this loop, wrap it all the way around the billiard ball. How the billiard balls hang. We're just gonna be using some pieces of dowel below the pegs. That way, all of the pressure inside of them tries to exit out the other side if it can't. And of course, each hole needs to be two and a quarter inches apart. These four the Palomar knot, and it's designed for attaching fish hooks to line. Pieces attached to have five sort of tuning pegs that will let us adjust. Two sides, that's where the end of the, the doubled over portion is, over to the blue. Why it doesn't continue moving forever. Some of the motion is transferred through. black. We're going to turn this black. Thin fishing line are going to have these eye hooks in them. However, when you're making a Newton's cradle, it's actually two holes in the, but you don't want to catch the first line in your knot. We're going to be using billiard balls. Here's the building plan. We'll have two frame pieces. Now we want these to be sturdy as they sit about eight inches apart. So what we're going to do, inch and a half, maybe two inches long make it an even two. What we need to make sure is that the loop on this side of the overhand knot is big enough apogee to the other. Newton's Cradle, a fun toy to build and use. Two legs coming down on the sides of it. It's gonna go on top of this other piece of plot. You've probably seen and played with those little desktop toys made of like five silver. 15 inches long to start, so let's get cutting. So I'm just going to take one measurement and then cut all of the pieces. And then we pull it tight. A Newton's Cradle is a well-known apparatus that demonstrates Newton's thirst. So have a much shorter period, which is the length of time it takes the ball to swing from one energy from a swinging ball isn't pushing it out of line. This cradle was coined in 19... One of these beams will be the top piece and then we're gonna have exactly two hit this bomb in the middle and the line on that side and that moves. these holes we just drilled now we need 10 pe and one quarter inches in diameter so what we need to do now is drill some holes into the system and in fact there's no such thing as a perfect system so some energy is not transferred pull that out of the way before I tighten this one down just the way we want it. That's why we start seeing some swinging motion and the blue swings out, swings back and transfers its energy. Well, it works. The Newton's cradle dots in this one cross point is where we'll drill the holes. We've got all of our frame built and it's time to start attaching the billiard balls. opposite reaction. Today we're going to be building a scaled up Newton's cradle using booze. I like trying to figure out interesting new bounce patterns. Often slightly magnetic Newton's laws of motion and physics. You still have to fit it all the way around the billiard ball down through the eye. And then we've got these two. The three billiard balls in the middle would never move, and the two on the outsides would keep bouncing back to match. And we can cut off all the extra. Fine. To these sort of tuning pegs, we're just gonna drill a hole perfectly in all three dimensions. They can't be too far apart. Peg, I can shorten or lengthen back and forth forever. That would also rust it out. It seems properly calibrated. Let's see how it hooks and some fishing line. And to get these are two by two. Each of those pieces is going to be eight. With it, overall, I really enjoy building it and it's a good example of as the little tuning pegs. We'll have the hook a little bit higher. The line will come from the billiard ball through the lines up and well for being able to adjust where they hang. So we're going to have these fire. There is no air. 
you can make some really interesting patterns by... And so you have to sort of feed it through. So I'm gonna take the knot on the other side. But now by twisting that up through the hook and then back so that we can attach our fishing plywood and that just is gonna give us a nice look to it and get it closer. At this point, I think we are ready to test. It's not gonna be perfect, but fortunately we have the ability to adjust the action. Billiard balls are not very compressible, and so all the energy that enters into one are marbles that just swing back and forth and they make pleasant clacking noises. They're used for stress relief or just... Let's go trim this down. Through each of them. And not right there. And we'll... To the base and to each other. Near the top, we'll have some hooks that we can run our lines through, along with some pegs. A metallic ball, which is even better at transferring energy than these billiard balls. They're also often third law. Not doing anything too fancy here, just not on one side and then a square. That can be a really tricky thing to do. However, the system I have devised seems to work pretty lush on the board. 67 by the English actor Simon Preble. So it'll basically be like that. Each billiard ball and then screw the hooks in and then attach the wires onto those. Billiard balls. Move. If I pull back on the red ball, the orange, yellow, and green ball resistance. The little desktop toys usually use the top of each support beam. Five of them because we're gonna have five different billiard balls. And you start out by just making a loop on one side with, I've got plenty, which will install a little. Beautiful. Four more. The energy is actually turned into heat as the billiard balls collide with each other. In a truly perfect system, third law of motion, that for every action, there is an equal and playing with this thing. If the line is swinging and then one ball is pulled away and allowed to drop, the... Hmm. I think this needs to be... Beautiful, the background noise. Today we're gonna to be building a larger one of those and instead of those eggs that will help us make minute adjustments. You will on this, you'll see why. So that loop pushes, it's quite important that all of the eggs to fit in these holes, each one just about five hooks. But we're also going to have back through the middle three and into the red ball again. This is not a perfect sitter should always be on the hook regardless of where on the swing angle the ball is. Moves the ball hanging down below. to attach our hooks. Do the same thing on the other side. Now it is wonderful for demonstrating new small metal balls. Plenty of extra here. If you're actually doing this on a hook, you wouldn't need nearly that much extra. The top will transport you directly to our last video and you should check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you need to be watching. Will bounce on and off. Random fact, the name Newton sent you 25 bucks. The fun's not over that box of the... So it should last a little bit better, but we also... It gets a little bit more complicated when you attach the second one because down to the peg. Talk to you then. Watching next, and if you aren't subscribed to our channel, Motion, which is that for every action, there is an equal and opposite real. For the most part, stay in place, and the energy from the red ball is transferred over. The knot that I'm using is called from each other. They can't have the strings leaning toward each other so that there's too much pressure holding them together. And we've got all our pieces cut, now we're going to secure them together, we'll make two of this shape. Are there other things you would like to see us build demonstrating basic science principles? To start we're going to build two pieces of frame, and each one is going to be made of three pieces. Of that way you never miss out on the fun. Don't. And what angle we have this set up is pretty subjective, it can be kind of whatever we want. Excellent. Each of our billiard balls is pretty much... forget to ring that bell and we will see you in the next one. Let us know down in the comments, as always, if we use your idea to make a video, we will onto the four corners. Balls in the cradle line up, the line will keep swinging, but the outside balls ride. To the frame, into the base, onto the workbench, and it's lost there. A little bit of all of the hooks installed onto the billiard balls, and now what we need to do is attach the cords, and for that we're using some This is going to be part of our base. By shortening the strings, we eliminate some of the play, like which helps hold them together if the energy... We just need to trim the bottoms so that it will sit flat. We've got all... 
To attach the billiard balls onto the frame, we're gonna be using these evens. And we're just gonna tie this in an overhand knot. Overhand. Smaller little eye do is take some of our scrap pieces of two by two, cut a couple of lengths that are eight inches long, and attach them. They can fit all the way around the billiard ball. These little eye hooks attached to the billiard balls, we're going to use a very small drill bit. We'll drill ball, but then I also have to Count by 10, it'll get the IQ of all my viewers Of all my viewers who are too retarded to watch real YouTubers My bits contain a vetting, a little fucking cam screen Which can your roles enjoy cause they don't have their own opinion They're stupid and my minions got me over a million This is the age of YouTube, no talent equals millions Getting paid, getting paid Get paid for nothing If you're watching this right now Just turn on your cam All you need is a fake smile To get them views And get all this money Thank God that the world's retarded I react Cause I don't have no talent I react It's easy, takes no effort I react And barely show emotion I react I react when I do, I find a motive Said I react, cause I don't have no talent I react, it's easy, takes no effort I react, and barely show emotion I react when I do, I find a motive It's so amazing you can grow up people's content Lazy life, I got it like this my fucking job, bitch Resume on fleek, cut your salary in one week, cut And it's not only me, cut No, there's a hundred more cunts Yeah, yeah All I do is lay back, react to trending topics Still I'm the trending topic Then react to my own vids and get a million more hits Thank the Lord I got rich by all these stupid kids I react, cause I don't have no talent I react, it's easy, takes no effort I react, and barely show emotion I react, when I do I find a motive Said I react, cause I don't have no talent I react, it's easy, takes no effort I react, and barely show emotion I react 